Can you hear it? I've been laying in bed and not all that for like two hours. It's quarter to five. I just got to this point. And right about there, which is out in the middle of the neighbor's field, it'd be the edge of where, yeah, there you see it. Um, the flashlight is based about the corner of the place where uh, the first fire was up there that I was up there disking. They can't tell us anything, of course, other than the person they're looking for is that direction from our road. But the ends are right there. Yeah. There's at least a half a dozen of them. Half of them are parked around the block, which covers, well, this side of the block. The short side, anyway, is a half a mile. That's a good half mile square, I guess, where they're at. So, yeah, just what I needed to fucking listen to for the last two hours. Excuse my French. And no, son ain't even thought about it yet, but I can't get back to sleep. So what do you do when you can't get back to sleep? You come down and see how everybody's doing in the barn, because they're annoyed. I was watching them in the cameras, and a few of them were about ready to go up there and stuff something up that cop's ass. It makes no sense to me how, oh, we're going to flush them out by parking cars a mile and a half apart. Yeah. As of yet, they've done that, I think, five times out here. Uh, the only time they ever caught who they were looking for was a kid that was a little, well, you can't say that, not, you know, I probably won't be politically correct here, a little off in the head. And basically was wanting to run away from home. And he ran out in the woods behind his mommy and daddy's house. You know, that was actually back off the far corner of our hayfield. And the sirens didn't get the kid out. All the sirens did was scare the kid farther into the brush. So, anyway. That's my take on the morning. And... Somebody took their jacket off. I think. Was it you? Mm, that's okay. Yeah. About 31 degrees at the moment. Still five to seven degrees below what they said it was going to be. But I knew it. Yeah, it would be you because you're the only one. You're the girl without the tag. She's got a tag. She don't. Okay. That's enough for this morning. I don't see any new ones here. I made her to the feed barn because I didn't want the dogs running them out of there. But I'll get the blank or get the jacket out of here. Yes, Mama. What do you think? Oh, but you're so much cuter. Hi, sweetheart. You look like you need to get a little breakfast. You're a little thinny. Maybe I'll take a handful of that down the road. Hand it to somebody. No. Move your butt. You can't stand on it. Hey. Move. Really? Oh, well, we can say hi to the. Hey. Here we go. 511 cheese, baby. Well, here I am an hour later. A little over an hour later. Here's they have a drone up, and the lights are back, shining in the trees up there. I just went in, I looked in the camera, and I could see a light over the shop. It's like, what the hell? Becky just had a neighbor over there text her and say, hey, I know you're not asleep. <laughs> no shit. Um, they're listening to the scanner. The gal said that they've detained three people, apparently. One was a felon. Okay, well, we still don't know why they're after him. But in the meantime, yeah. And I did hear, I mean, the sirens have been non-existent for a while. Um, and I heard the police dog 
just a couple of minutes of it. So I'm guessing where they're flashing the lights up there must be the place of interest. But obviously that blinky light is a drone. Because that's way above the ground. <laughs> no matter where it is. And Becky just texted me some update on it. So who knows. Oh, blinky light's moving now. And that's at the, they're right at the top of the field across the road. And like another, oh, from where those lights are shining, it's only about 200 feet through to the field we've got up on that hill that is right on top. So it's rather interesting that they're there, especially when Becky called sheriff's office they said it was on the other half of that block i'm sorry it's almost a mile clear through at that point and where they're at right now is no more than a quarter of a mile from where i'm standing so, eh, still gonna be a fun day i just came out to see why there was a damn light over the top of the shop i'm gonna go back in and enjoy my coffee at the moment okay i literally just read becky's text and came right back Apparently, they just detained two more. So, what the hell? That would make five people detained. At least the damn sirens stopped, but ain't nobody sleeping now anyway. Hey, look, Becky's at her. It's heat sensor. It is, Mom. Yeah, so is Ty. It is heat sensor. And uh, that airplane came in from the north and stuck around. We have an ambulance coming in. And apparently, an ambulance coming because one of the idiots got hurt. Too bad. Okay, pardon my they, French. They called for the ambulance literally five minutes after the last time I heard the dog going ape shit up there. So the dog bit him. Too bad. And it, it sounds <laughs> like there's at, at least four people now. And their drone is still up there, but they're turning the other direction. I can just see the blinky light. And, they're still and there's still flashlights flashing around up there in the trees. And it sounds like they're looking for more people. I wonder if. So they're probably seeing us standing here thinking we're part of it, night. right? Yeah. That's why the plane's uh -huh. circling us. Silence is golden outside. I wanted to show you that. Why is it they make bike hitches like that? I mean, I know why. Because it's thin material. They roll the edges down to stiffen it. But, you know, all the bike trailers we got were made for the old bikes that just had a flat piece. So, I'm debating if I make that a weld a piece of tubing on there and make a receiver hitch, which is what I did on my Honda 350 Foreman because it was the same way you couldn't hook anything to it or if I just cut a piece of flat iron and stick out from that so we just got update a little bit ago it is now come on there there you go it's quarter after six um, one of Becky's friends up the road they've been listening to the scanner and apparently they have four suspects apprehended. It all started out with a stolen pickup truck and a trailer that did a hit and run and assault on a police officer. We're assuming the assault on the police officer was probably the hit and run. And all the cops went, I mean, they got realistically they had to hurry up because shift changes in 45 minutes right and you know Becky and her friend were joking around her friend says yeah well, the cops aren't used to walking around out there in a the brush and up there where they were I mean that's some thick shit it's a bunch of reprod and has not been managed at all so you got what 15 year old fir trees with limbs clear down to the bottom of them that were planted too close together to begin with and blackberries and poison oak, those poor bastards. So, and last I looked on the I was in the house trying to see if they had anything on the news about it. Looking on the cameras, things were quiet in here. I have not been to the feed barn yet, but because I don't want Red Red over there somewhere. I don't want the dogs telling the cows to get out of there yet. I'll give them another half hour or so, probably. 
Anyway, so excitement for the morning. I think I'm going to go out and see what that one's doing out there. Because where the rest are laying in here, and she's out there, I mean, it's it's a better spot. It's been cold and dry, it's supposed to rain later, but the only mucky spot in that lot is this side of the feeder right by the barn. But a lot of times you'll see one laying there like that because they got a calf. I can't see that in the cameras, and I didn't see anything out there earlier. So, let me go check that out. And see what we got handled for the rest of the day. Well, a little update on the morning. Apparently somebody stole a pickup in a trailer. Somewhere along the line, they did a hit and run and assault on a police officer. Don't know if the assault on the police officer was the hit and run or what. But they got four of them. Had a drone up there. And you can see their flashlights all along those trees there and around. And we had a aerial plane circling for about a half an hour. They caught four of them. Apparently that's all. And life is finally kind of back to normal. So that's all I know. Yeah, that, and, you know. I ain't been in to get rid of what I carry once in a while anyway. But, God only knows. Don't know where they dumped the truck or what. I got half a feeling, but, eh, you know. have no idea who's living there now. I just know that there's a place about straight through there that some questionable things happen once in a while. That's all I can tell you there. No, I got part of it. We have the easy stuff here for Ty. Of course, back part of that's not as easy. And I got a couple broken bales I got to deal with over here. I already pulled a couple down. I only had one point. Mini moves there. She thinks she's going to get something special. And the baby's pen. The baby's over here. They're done. As good as I'm going to get it today. Cows are in the way, of course. And that's the newest one. No tag yet. And my back is done for now, so I'm going to go find a spot to sit down and straighten up. And uh, so you can hear that noise. Yeah. Weatherman said last night, low will be coming in today. We will have rain today. It will be later this afternoon. That started at 6 o'clock. So I don't know what time zone they're in. And Rainy thinks she's got somebody over here to try to get to. There she's wearing a raincoat. Rainy, let's go to the shop where it's dry. Tell the engine changing the oil in the Tahoe. Since it, it's going to get done the day it got wrecked. And it needs it. And we found out on the what, 2016. I think that's what that one is over there. We found out on that one, you don't go over on the miles because the filters aren't big enough for that. You're at 3,000 miles, get it changed. You wait till 4,000, causes issues. Oh yeah, and the wind. It wasn't supposed to be windy either. At all. They lie. Well, y'all missed the good weather. Go in for lunch, sun came out, then the wind kicked up. Wind just quit a few minutes ago and it's back to dumping again. There's some good trailer rockers. Almost spilled my soup in my lap. That never happens. Anyway, I just finished getting these girls done. I got one little corner. One laying there funky. I think she's just resting. She don't look to be pushing. I got that corner right there, but these bales break up so much up here that there's plenty of chaff to fill that in. I just got to rake it up. And I got a few bales over there going for the two-year-olds. You only, lay, only put so many along there before you run out of room. Yeah, I'm wondering about her, though. Nah, I ain't going to wonder now. She got her head up. She just wanted to lay with her head down. 